Hey guys, so in building this slingshot rifle, I made a large number of mistakes that I'm only finding out about really right now. The funny thing with a lot of the videos I make is that I'm trying to make a tutorial, show you guys how to do this thing, whatever I'm doing, but at the same time, I myself am learning it for the first time. So like in this, I've never made a slingshot rifle before. I, 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 don't, I haven't even played with a slingshot in years. So in trying to figure it out, I make a lot of mistakes. And I think you saw some of the mistakes in the previous videos, but in going out and trying to test it the first couple of times, I realized I made some very serious mistakes early on in, in the design of this thing. Major, major flaws, really. And in this video, I'm going to be running over them and trying my best to fix them. Hopefully without completely tearing this thing apart and starting over again. I, I, don't, I really don't want to do that. Problem number one. When I fire this thing, the bands jump off. The pulleys don't really have a way to hold the bands on there so that when they snap, they just keep jumping the pulleys. Uh, I, I tried to stick these two little things in here to stick them in front to hopefully prevent the bands from just jumping off when it fires. But the problem is these pulleys are too close together for that to work. As you can see when this thing has the bands on it, these two parts do not flip up all the way. These things should be pulled up straight about right here like this. Let me push it off. About like that. That should prevent them from jumping off. Here's the trouble. They can't be like that because this thing has a reverse draw, of course, and that rubber there keeps getting in the way. When it fires, it just pushes them back. I already replaced the one I had on there originally with a shorter one, and the problem is still there. It's just too close together. If the pulleys were more like this, there would be room for these on the front. I also did not have them attached back here. They were just looped over it so that when the rubber jumped the pulleys, there's nothing holding it on back there and it just flies off like that. Those problems, however, are not the big problem with this thing. The big problem with this thing is in the position of those pulleys. See how low those pulleys are? That's where your bands are. That is not much room for a projectile to pass. So guess what happened when I went to fire this thing with slingshot ammo for the first time? I won't make you guess. The ammo in the pouch slammed right on this part here, which sent the rock flying off target, fired like way up into the air because it bounced off that part there. That is a fatal flaw. So how do I fix this? Well, the first option that comes to mind is sticking some extra washers underneath the roller to get a little added height and hopefully that would be enough to allow the ammo and the pouch to not get caught on that coupling there and to shoot right out. There are some other difficulties with that, such as the question of whether or not that will cause too much flex in these, ultimately causing them to break when pulled back. I really don't know. That's the first thing to try. Take off these things, because they're doing no good. Well, it's certainly a good bit higher, as you can see. That might just turn the trick. Let's find out. All right, let's see if that makes a difference. Certainly was much better than last time I tried. 
but it's still curved. Not sure why. Well, I've tried a few more times. Nah, not really working. The rollers are were really a stupid idea. They don't really add anything to it, and they add a whole lot of trouble. Another thing I'm having trouble with now is the gap between the two rollers is so small that it's throwing off the aim because it's a reverse draw, you know, which means they the two bands have to pull back through here, which means the area between them is really, really small. Not a lot of room for the ammo to go through, and I think the bands are messing up the flight pattern and totally throwing the shots off, as well as them being too low. Ugh, just... Just really stupid. Should not have had those on there at all. Should have just had the standard Y shape deal and just attached the bands to that. Then you wouldn't have to deal with them jumping anything. Just everything would work better. Oh, uh, that's frustrating. So now the question is, do I leave this gun pretty much a complete failure? Or do I start modifying and trying to get rid of those nasty pulleys and make it more of a traditional deal and just start messing stuff up and hope that I can figure it out as I go. I'd rather not leave it a failure. So let's start modifying. Well, I'm actually kind of glad to be getting rid of these. Okay, how's this for a brilliant plan? I'm going to, I already have two little bitty holes here. I'm gonna make those holes large enough, basically drill two giant new holes, to fit a piece of half inch PVC pipe. This, I'm gonna stick through this piece, a piece on this side and a piece on this side. I believe the half inch PVC will be strong enough. It's not, yeah, it's pretty strong stuff. I'll drill two holes through that. I'll slide a piece in there. Then put some screws or bolts in from the front to keep it from going anywhere. And I'll attach my rubber to these and it'll just, you know, be more like a traditional slingshot rifle. And it's PVC, so I'm like totally destroying this challenge, man. Like, it's a PVC challenge. It's even better than it was before because I'm using PVC instead of non-PVC pulleys. This is gonna be way better than the other one was. Almost big enough to stick this pipe through. There we go. Now do that three more times. I'm pushing it through just a little bit so that when I screw it down, I can file that down and it'll be flush with the PVC perfectly. They're not exactly even, but I don't care. Oh, <laughs> 
There we go, got my bands reattached to the thing. <laughs> and I ended up making those too long, but uh, I'm not gonna go ahead and cut them off right now because that would take too much work. And I just really want this to be done. So I'm gonna go outside real quick and test it and we'll see how it works. Like we even have to know. Can't help but work better than it did before. Try an arrow. Alright. It works. Perfect. For the ammo container too, I also went ahead and screwed a leather pouch down. It's got a screw on the top holding it in. And then it has a just pops on and off that screw. Like that. You just open that up and you can pull out your bag of ammo. That works pretty well. I was trying to think of a way to get some arrow storage on here. Um, you probably could figure out a way to do that on the underside perhaps. Uh, mount like a quiver under there, but I decided not to worry about that. Sorry. And with that, we have not only just a slingshot rifle that looks amazingly cool, but we have a slingshot rifle that actually works. <sighs> Ain't that nice? I'm really happy with this thing, actually. Um, I mean, obviously, I had some rather large design errors that I had to fix, but now that I fixed it, which made it way easier to build and just everything works so much nicer than it did before, I, I really like this thing. It turned out really, really great it just <laughs> it's just cool now i am planning on making a full shooting video testing video where i actually shoot this thing but i have so much to edit right now and i've been working on this thing for like two weeks i'm just tired of this so i think i'm gonna like go do something else for a while and then make a testing video sometime but never fear it will happen this thing's front heavy. <sighs> Wait a minute. No. I promised myself when I finished that thing that I would never again make a rifle that stinking huge. <sighs> well guys, thanks you so much for watching this video and hopefully you've already seen the two previous videos to this. You should probably go check those out if you liked this thing. Be sure to subscribe if you liked this video and want to see more of my videos. That would make a lot of sense. Like the video if you like it. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think I should make next. Or if you have anything else to say, I'd love to hear that too. <laughs> I better stop and uh, go start editing all this. So thank you guys once again so much for watching. I'll see you in the next episode of Jake Makes Jake Out.